All right, so I'm going to respond to this comment. So, all right, and I'm trying to be as 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 respectful as I possibly can, but I'm not gonna make no guarantees. But all right, Chris, appreciate you commenting, and and, and like I said, if if it is what it is with this, all right. So, so basically, say say Mike, 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 what are you talking about? Richie Grant is shit. Did y'all watch him all of last year? And last year, our defense was much better than it is this moment. If we don't get to the quarterback, it's going to be ugly. Only reason we've been keeping games close this year is because of Simmons and Bates. And this got to be the stupidest shit that we talk about. This got to be the dumbest fucking comment we're talking about. You're going to literally say the only fucking reason we've been keeping it close is because of Simmons and Bates. When last fucking game, we literally saw, we, we literally saw Justin Simmons say to the whole fucking world that giving up the touchdown at halftime was his fault. And you're going to sit here with a straight fucking face and write this bullshit. See, this is the reason why we say you guys are motherfucking uh, emotional about it. Because you don't take the fucking time to think about what the fuck you just said. Okay? Jesse, Justin Simmons literally said, giving up the touchdown at the end of the half was his fucking fault. And you're going to say that the only reason why the Atlanta Falcons right now is good is because of Jesse Bates and... Justin Simmons, these guys have made mistakes too. Okay? Giving up touchdowns in key moments was the exact same thing that got Richie Grant bench. So if we're gonna if we're gonna keep this same fucking energy, keep that shit all keep the energy all around for everyone, not just people that you want to see. Okay, that people that you're connected to, people that you like. He gave up touchdowns just like Richie Grant. So, again, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this the right motherfucking way. Okay? When they say Richie Grant is shit, I don't give a damn about whether or not you or I disagree on the fact that Richie Grant is quote-unquote shit. The fact of the matter is Raheem Morris is trained for this. This is his level of expertise. His level of expertise is what? Secondary. If you've been following his career, he came in as a DB guy. Okay, he got his he got his uh, uh, his his claim to fame by getting hired or getting recommended by what Tony Dungy, and again he was the DB coach over in Tampa Bay, so he knows more about DBs than you, than I, and then most of a lot of people. You go back and look at the, the Rams and the Super Bowl champion Rams, might I add. These guys hired him as the defensive coordinator. So I'm going to take his opinion about what he stated about Richie Grant, okay? This is what he stated, is that when he came in and he was hired as the Atlanta Falcons, one of the things that he immediately said that he stated from what we saw on the surface about Richie Grant, you know, he thought Richie Grant wasn't, you know, he wasn't as good. Um, but he had changed his mind about Richie Grant and his abilities um, because he actually saw him in depth. He saw everything in depth. He got to know exactly what was the issues, what is, what is his you know, deficiencies, what was his strengths, and he changed his mind. This is exactly why Richie Grant is still on the roster. So again, I don't it doesn't matter whether or not you and I disagree on what Richie Grant is or isn't. The fact of the matter is you got two guys, Jerry Gray, three guys, Jerry Gray, Raheem Morris, and Jimmy Lake. All three of those guys thought he was worry, worthy to be on the roster. He's worthy to be on the roster, and he's still on the Atlanta Falcons roster, and he has, a, he has the chance to be a starter. So we can sit up here and argue about whether or not you believe that he's, you know, good 
But the fact of the matter is, Richie Grant is on the field. He's on he's on this roster and he's in the NFL. But to say that, that you know, he's shit because, you know, he he's he he's shit because of you or your belief, it's just crazy. All right. And 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 let's be real about this. Richie Grant and and, and Justin Simmons. They're doing nothing for the run defense. The worst part of this defense right now is not pass defense. Okay? The worst part of this team is not the pass defense. It's getting after the quarterback. Okay? Let's keep that real. It's getting after the quarterback. It's stopping the run. Hey, you trying to tell me that these guys are the best thing that happened to the defense when the defense does have its flaws. So we need to be talking about whether or not we can get pressure and not whether or not Richie Grant is going to quote unquote lose games for us. Well, we already lost a lot of games. We lost a, a, a couple of games because we could not stop the run. Not so much the pass. Okay? So to sit up here and say that Jesse, Jesse Bates and Justin Simmons are the only reason why we're this good. It's this. It's like I said. It's it's biased. It's emotional, and it just it like it it doesn't make a lot of sense. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, our defense is much better. This team is incredibly fall right now. I believe it's going to get better, but this team is fall. We can't stop the run, and we're having issues closing on sacks. We're getting pressure, but to say that. The Atlanta Falcons defense is much better than last year. I, I like, I, I think it is, but it's a number of reasons as to why the Atlanta Falcons are. And we're talking about Justin Simmons, Jesse Bates, AJ Terrell, Mike Hughes, uh, Clark Phillips, who had an interception himself, D. Alford, all these guys. We can't just put at one or two guys and say they're the reason why their defense is good. David Onyemata, Grady Jarrett, you got Matthew Judon. Like, these guys are doing a good job. We had a, a few injuries with the linebackers. Nate Lamon has been hurt. Troy Anderson has been hurt. Um, Caden Ellis, for the most part, he's been um, pretty good for this team. But it, it's ridiculous to point at two guys and say Justin Simmons and Jesse Bates are the reason why this defense when we we've, we've seen instances where these guys have given up key touchdown and key passes and key plays and key moments okay and it's everybody pitching in as far as the defense is concerned and that's what makes this defense so much so so good in my opinion is because we have a guy a multitude of guys that are stepping up and getting stops stepping up and getting key turnovers and key moments and it just hasn't been the the richie grant and, and justin simmons show it hasn't been that way and that's not the truth so we got to look at this thing objectively we got to look at this unbiasedly and whether or not i like richie grant or i believe that he is um you know a, a true starter um that look that's not for me to decide i have my opinions and I think one of the reasons why Justin Simmons was signed is because you do have flaws in Richie Grant's game. But to say that, that Justin Simmons, when we literally just saw him take accountability for giving up a key touchdown and key moments and saying that we have to do better as a defense, okay, include himself, we got to stop that. We got to stop this biasness. We got to stop this obvious bias against certain players because we don't fucking like them and that's not how that's not that's not reality and it's pure disgusting at the end of the day we're not going to point the finger and say like one guy or two guys are the reason why we're because at the end of the day the real reason why we are winning is because offensively we're doing a good job running the ball we're doing a good job passing the ball in certain situations we're doing a good job of getting turnovers we're doing a good job of getting key stop in key moments this is why we're first in, um, in the division right now. So let's keep it real. 
Let's keep it real all the way around and not just point at two guys and say Simmons and Bates are the reason why they, they were winning game because they keep it real too on top of that. The Atlanta Falcons were in certain situations, especially playing against the Chiefs, where they could have got a stop. And the secondary gave up a touchdown to Juju Smith-Schuster, wide open. What happened to that so situation? So we can nitpick and say this about, you know, Richie Grant, but let's nitpick on Jesse Bates and Justin Simmons. Let's hold them to the same standard that we do everybody else. So that's all I got to say about that. Appreciate everybody for continuously supporting the brand here at Mad Mike Sports Fan. Um, like I said, this is an instance where, you know, Richie Grant, um, he does. He does have ability as he if we we looking for him to be a starter for four, five, six game. No, we're asking him to fill in for a guy that has a hamstring issue. This is why he's out. Okay? So who the hell is who's gonna start? Who's gonna start in this play if it's not Richie Grant? Who are we gonna put Antonio Hammond as a senior? Yeah, he's dealing with a back injury. So we don't have any other we don't have another guy to even take that place. So the thing is, you can sit up here and, and say whatever you want to say about Richie Simmons, Richie Grant. But let's keep this real. The Atlanta Falcons is only asking him to, to play one game and to do his job. And I think he can do that job. Richie Grant, last year, I think he was close to 100 and something tackles. I think he had like 90 uh, something tackles. So this guy is constantly around the ball. Um, he is a, a safety that you can look for to be a quality starter. But if you're looking at somebody who can be an all pro, he probably not that guy. But let's keep it real. Even our all pros have had games where they didn't look good at all. So with that being said, this is Boy Man Mike with another Atlanta Falcons video. Peace.